It's time for the BTS vlog. Yeah. I was supposed to start vlogging around 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's when I got up. But uh, things kind of got away from me and I'm doing it now at uh, 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of uh, work to do overnight, over the night, uh, or over my day. Uh, I did some work on uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu. That's the uh, all the androids put together. That's the new uh, Cyborg Alpha, the new extension to Cyborg Alpha that will sort of uh, allow me to be integrated with the systems uh, a lot more than I have been before. So this is a an expansion uh, of Cyborg Alpha. It's a growth of Cyborg Alpha. The, the next step would be, once this is done, uh, which should be about a week or so, the next step is to move into uh, the uh, actual development uh, using C++ and a variety of other different languages uh, and begin developing uh, the programming side of it and eventually try to work in some artificial intelligence. That would be the next sort of phase of thing, but that's a long phase. That's a, that's a, that's a long goal, not a short-term goal. So uh, it will be bit by bit. There was a lot of notes. I did. I said, as I've been saying throughout the week, uh, working on the hidden libraries and uh, the other things like that. The other work that's going on. These things require a lot of note taking, and periodically you have to go into your note taking system and organize it because if you had a good week, and I had a good week. Uh, this new arrangement, the new upgrade, uh, really made uh, the research desk uh, pro uh, productive. That means there, at the end of the week, on Thursday, Friday, that there are a lot more notes to organize than in previous years and actually in previous months. So that's a lot of what's been going on here. But it hasn't slowed things down. Uh, I was able to film two, uh, um, complete two episodes uh, of uh, two different web series. Uh, there's going to be, on this weekend coming out, there's going to be Ubuntu BSD Unix Natal coming out, and there will be a, a Beauty and the Geek episode coming out. So that's where, you know, in other words, we're slowly but surely ramping up. We're getting the production schedules in order. Uh, things are really starting to move along. Uh, that's what I was hoping for with this upgrade. The upgrade I hope I was hoping that this upgrade would be more, uh, 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 would, would give me more production, allow me to be more productive, and that's actually what's happened. I'm still trying to work on some of my flubs, some of my mistakes, but that's going to happen sometimes. Particularly when you're tired and, and that sleep the sleep deprivation starts to get to you. That's when a lot of your vocabulary starts falling off, and uh, in many cases, I have a hard time keeping my eyes open. The other thing that's going to go on is that even though uh, uh, this is occurring like the way it is now, we're doing uh, doing uh, the uh, video at 6:30 in the morning. There's still going to be segments because uh, on the camera, I've only got eight minutes to record things. And I found myself that sometimes I have to speak to, towards the timer, and that gets me a little nervous. And I start to speak very quickly because I'm trying to fit everything in, and that's when words get jumbled up. So the way I'm going to approach this is uh, deal with things in segments rather than to be trying to squeeze everything in all together. But that's kind of where things are, and uh, for the next segment. Uh, I'm going to explain what I did for the, uh, the earlier part of the day. Uh, some new work has actually come in. And uh, we'll talk about that. See you in the next segment. Well, it's the next segment. <laughs> so we got to segment this stuff out because I've only got a few minutes uh, per, uh, per video. And I'm just sort of getting the, uh, the uh, countdown timer here. I got a, I got a way to sort of time this out so that I can actually... Uh, Make sure that I, uh, I, I uh, I'm within the uh, a lot of times, a lot of times. So I've got a countdown timer here. It's set for the eight minutes, 
and I can sort of see when I'm coming to the end of the video. Anyways, uh, the place is kind of large here, so not really large. It's it's good enough size. So uh, after I went out to dinner with my mom, uh, we took her out to a nice uh, Asian restaurant in the in the neighborhood here, because uh, I am in an Asian uh, area. I began working on the back warehouse, which has a uh, small little machine shop. Uh, the problem that that, uh, that occurs every so often is uh, I do a lot of upscaling, or I should say upcycling. Uh, that's the word, up upcycling. And that what that is is taking uh, materials that people have thrown out, like wood, metal, whatever, and uh, recycling it so that it can be reused in a, a variety of different product projects. And every once in a while, if uh, thing if work starts to back up, if things start to sort of get ahead of me and I start getting overwhelmed, uh, then a lot of the projects get uh, backed up as well. And some of the projects that I've been working on in the machine shop and the warehouse have kind of been shelved for now. They've been sort of put on hold because the upcycling part of the uh, work has uh, stalled. So I started working on that again today. This is in addition to the filming. And so that sort of underway. And once the uh, work in the warehouse and uh, machine shop is, is, is sort of progressing, that means I can do a lot more work around here and put some of the stuff that's here back into the warehouse, back on the shelving up there and sort of organize things in a better fashion than they currently are. So in other words, uh, a, a large chunk of the work that has to be done, and it's going to take a couple months to do it, is really organizing all the materials I've collected over the last two years and organize them into various different labs, different workshops, uh, in different areas so that uh, these materials can be properly upcycled, can be put into projects, and really dealt with in a, uh, in a proper manner. In other words, what's going to happen is on the electronics bench here, a lot of the engineering is going to be done for the electronics, but a lot of the building part of a physics lab uh, is going to be done in the machine shop uh, where you put together a, uh, the, um, the the equipment that, that uses higher voltage, uh, because it, dealing when you're dealing with, with Tesla, you're dealing with coils, you're dealing with higher voltage, that's going to be back in the machine shop where it's all cement. There's no, uh, uh, there's no, it's all almost cement back there. There's no materials that are flammable, and that gives you sort of a a bit of safety uh, in terms of. Uh, dealing with the voltages that you're dealing with when you're dealing with with uh, uh, um, uh, with Tesla's equipment. In other words, I'm not. And I think it's Tesla can be done safely. They're working with uh, Tesla's ideas, experimenting with Tesla's ideas, can be done safely if you know how to put together a good, safe environment. So the first environment, first thing that has to be done for safety is make sure you have a safe environment. Once you have a safe environment, then there are other precautions that you need to take to make sure that the safety stays, safety stays for, uh, foremost and uh, up front so that you can always make sure that uh, if anything does go wrong, there are ways to resolve it quickly and deal with the issue at hand so that there are no in, no injuries. Uh, and that's particularly to myself because I'm the only one who's going to be here. Uh, so you, once this is, <laughs> has progressed enough, I will show you this. I'll take the video over there and you'll be able to see this. Anyways, we're coming up on the time, uh, so I will end this here for now. This is the end of the segment here. Uh, I will come back. I'm not going to bed just yet. I'm uploading the uh, next episode for big uh, uh, BBTRL's uh, BTS vlog. That's going up now. And uh, I'll talk to you more about uh, the Tesla lab and the Tesla project uh, when we come back in the next segment, just right before I go to bed. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. 
this is the last segment for today for today's uh, BTS vlog it's 8 o'clock in the morning it's been a well from 3 to th 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. that's 12 hours 6 a.m. is 16 hours plus two more hours to 8 o'clock that's uh, an 18 hour day so I'm knocking off uh, I'm a little tired uh, uh, when I get up again uh, for the next vlog, uh, I'm going food shopping again. I got to pick up uh, the second half of the, uh, of the stuff I need to get for uh, food. I'm uh, making. Uh, <laughs> this is the weird part. In Canada, they kind of create holidays for nothing, uh, and it's simply a whole a whole thing that. Um, Canadians want to seem Canadian, but uh, in many cases, the Canadian holidays are kind of made up. What they've done is they've taken Columbus Day, which, uh, you know, is, is celebrated by everybody. Because Columbus it, it sort of gave rise to the North American version of uh, America. Uh, but yet, uh, Canada doesn't seem to want to <laughs> celebrate this common roots, and so they can't, can't, they changed Columbus Day to uh, the Canadian Thanksgiving and eliminated the, the American Thanksgiving, well, what you call American Thanksgiving in November, uh, feeling that, well, it's an American th it's an American holiday. But the, they don't realize that the uh, Canadians were the Empire Loyalists. We came from Boston, and many of the Canadians came over on the Mayflower. That's, that's, uh, that's Thanksgiving at <laughs> Plymouth Rock, you know. So uh, why why Canada should feel that uh, Thanksgiving isn't a Canadian holiday is kind of beyond me, anyway. So if you have any idea why uh, can Canadians uh, don't seem to want to celebrate a common uh, 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 holiday like Thanksgiving, where uh, the British came over to America, uh, and then of course many years. Uh, well, Many years later, uh, you have Canada being born out of the uh, United Empire Loyalists. Why uh, Canada would, would not want to celebrate the uh, the common tradition, the common history is, you know, if you want, anyone wants to comment on this, please do. Please enlighten me why this is, it, it, why can't Canadian, Canadians feel this way. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Good night.